No spoilers. So this is the spoiler section. Uh, really, I guess we're kind of just trying to just cover everything, not everything about the movie, but just the main parts we wanted to yeah. cover. But to be honest, to start it off, there really aren't many huge spoilers, really, is there? No, not really. That's the other so... thing. Is like, I guess we're trying to talk about our favorite characters, and like, now we can actually talk about it like more openly. Like, uh, so the villains you got in this movie are Black Ma Black Manta, but he, I thought he did a good job. Uh, he I like he went. I, I really bought that he was a villain. I bought his backstory, which as we talk about that, so the movie opens up. Obviously, besides seeing Hawkman, was kind of his origin story, which I thought they did a good job of doing it quick and not having it be like a whole twenty minute section of the movie. Yeah. Like you get the point with like uh, Queen Atlanta, Wash Up on the Shore, a lighthouse keeper. They kind of get they they get together. That was, that was a good. Scene. Scene. Oh yeah, she, I was actually I, I wasn't expecting her to have. I thought she was gonna get like killed or something in that scene. But uh, yeah, you basically she's in that house and, and they're trying she to get wakes her to go. Up, yeah, and what that's the one the first explosion out of nowhere. Where the, that one like, was surprising. Of the sign, she fights off five of these guys. It's definitely yeah. a really good scene. That was the f number one of what seven ex explosions when it's quiet and something happens. Yeah, there's a there's a lot. I have to keep trying that next time. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, the, the after the backstory, like you see how Aquaman became what you saw. You see the scene from the trailer, him at the aquarium, showing like how he can. He has like already has a connection to the animals, yeah. to the, the sea creatures, and we were uh, just in the aquarium today. So yeah, we were, the, we were yeah, we were at the aquarium. But then you get to the submarine scene, which uh, once again I, I don't know about you, I, I didn't watch any of the trailers besides the main one, I guess. Yeah, I'd I didn't see anything else because there was some. They, there was a lot of stuff they showed. And I'm, glad, I'm glad we didn't see. Well, it. although I saw one with a huge monster and it turned out differently. Yeah, I, I never. Yeah, that's true. I, I might even get it wasn't even uh, It was misleading. It was misleading. But yeah, but the scene with Black Manta, you see that they're kind of just pirates type deal. He's not a superhero there. Yeah. Him and his dad and, his, and their group of bad guys. They're bad people. They're not good. They're like raiding some ship and uh, Black Man. Man has an awesome scene. Yeah, Black Man even has a cool scene there before he's even a superhero. Like, the music starts there. Like He takes off his mask way too dramatically. Yeah. <laughs> That's honestly one thing I don't think I talked about in the non-spoiler review. The soundtrack I loved. Yeah, like, we didn't mention that. Uh, nice. Not every single song that played. I'm talking about, like, the soundtrack, like, that they created themselves. Like, the, yeah. the music, like, they played. Like, like the cues for when people showed up. Yeah, like, like, yeah. like, I think you hear it, honestly. I thought it was just Black Manta because you heard it in that beginning scene. But you actually hear that same sound when uh, Ocean Master turns around a couple times, too. Not as yeah. not as deep as the first time. But, but it's like, uh, every time, like, if someone takes a mask off, it's dramatic. If you turn, like, just turning and looking, it's dramatic. Yeah. Just like stepping down to be like, it's like a dramatic shot. I thought it was really. I thought good. that. I thought they did a great job with that. All the poses and stuff. I actually yeah. really enjoyed that stuff. Yeah, I, I like like the face offs. Yeah, and, the face offs. Like mm. you, you get that also in like Thor Ragnarok when they're facing off kind of. Yeah. Also, some funny scenes mixed in there with uh, Aquaman. He, he had some boss walks too in that scene. Like, <laughs> he, he first he jumps into the ship and he like whips his hair off. Like well, his hair's always whipping. Man. Yeah, and then like. Uh, like he walks through, he walks through like smoke, uh, and then he gets like hit on the ground. You think he's dead? Yeah, he <laughs> shoots. First, like, yeah, so they. Well, minutes. yeah, so the black man tries to stab him with the sword, does nothing, and then his dad shoots him with a rock, and he acts like he's burning on the ground, and he, <laughs> he totally isn't. He just and stands, then he stands up and stands out and throws something at him. And, and, and honestly, I know it sounds cheesy, but like that really sold the character of Black Mana for me because he was like smiling on the ground, thinking that his dad killed this Aquaman guy. <laughs> And then he actually, then after that, obviously, he doesn't die. He's sizzling. <laughs> Literally, his hair is like, some of his hair is blowing up from the vents. Uh, and he stands up and throws like a spear into uh, Black Man, his father's shoulder, and he pulls it out. And then after, as he's like leaving, uh, actually, it's not really Aquaman that kills him. It's his dad shoots at him again and causes a missile or torpedo to land on him to where he's pinned. He's pinned, and, and, he, uh, he, needs help, and he needs help, and Black Man is trying to lift up, and he can't, and he's, like, yelling for Aquaman. That could have actually made, if he would have saved him there, then it might have been more of a deal where it's like a Doctor Strange and... Uh, Baron Mordo. Yeah, Baron Mordo. Like, then that, that, could, have, then that could have been their relationship, but then they really don't go that way, and Aquaman's like, you were killing innocent lives, uh, now let the, let the ocean decide if you live or die, and Black Man at that moment is just like, you hear the music play again because he knows he yeah, hates except, Aquaman. Literally, he shoots Aquaman. He's sizzling, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and, then, and then he, he, he throws something at him, and then Aquaman's just trying to climb up with a ladder, and he tries to shoot him again, which causes the torpedo to fall. Is he sizzling again there? No. Like there's sharks, seahorses, kind of seahorse type things. 
uh, Mosasaurus, which you don't, I think there's like a couple of those. I, I only saw one. Well, there's one that came at Ocean Master Rise, and there's the one in the prehistoric time, which we'll talk about that later. There's a, I saw a Hammerhead, Drago yeah. was right in it. Drago, we, we call him that because he was in Rocky, We're and obviously Rocky Drago. 4. I, that, I had yeah. no idea. I, I guess I kind of knew he was in it, but I didn't you think he had a big role. You told me, but I forgot. Well, I saw no. his picture, because I, I, was, I was looking for Wu in the... I was sure it, he was going to be CGI. Yeah, but, I, so. I, I thought he was going to be the green guy. Yeah. But uh, the fact that he was a big character in this movie, he was Mara's father, which I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty <laughs> sure he was his father. We'll, we'll see it again and confirm that. But... Uh, the creatures are completely real. I love seeing them like facing off and the action scenes, which th that end fight scene you see in the trailer. Uh, there's it's, there's a like that's what James Wan's so famous for in the Conjuring universes are those not not only are they great horror movies but his like one shot deal where it's like it goes through an entire thing like yeah. you see a shot of like a a shark. Well, first you see like a crab guy jump down. And then you see a shark pick him up. Then the shark gets like sliced, falls in the lava. And then you see the mosasaur come through. Like some really cool stuff like that. Yeah. And and it I was way more. And did you think it was long enough? Did you think it was? Oh well, yeah. I mean, it's because it's, it's actually like I love how it's actually like it's like Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that's because, someone said that great. Angel, right? yeah. yeah, it's kind of like Lord of the Rings. Like a Clash of the Titans feel mainly because the big monster comes up. Yeah. But it's the big battle and they're clashing and lasers and they're going into each other and they're launching things. Yeah, it's like, actually that was a battle. Word, yeah. Like it's not a montage. It's actually no, a battle. And, and it was. Uh, and you know what? I, it'll never be long enough for me because I wanted to go for like twenty five minutes, but yeah. you just can't realistically. That's why Lord of the Rings, those battles are so cool because they do it for so yeah, long. Yeah, I know. Uh, but this one was long enough for me. Uh, especially for, really, yeah. for, I mean, for, for the budget of this, that's what's insane. The budget of this movie is extremely low for the oh, amount of CGI this. that happened in there. For, so yeah. for me to be critiquing or frustrated that the fight scene wasn't long enough when they had, they could have put all their money into that last scene and made the rest of the scenes just awful. But the fact that they pulled everything off to make it look so realistic, I give them a lot of credit for that. And yeah. it was definitely long enough for me. And that battle, it does... The reason the main battle ends and it goes into kind of a different one is when the big monster comes out. Yeah. And this is where the marketing... The I even saw the big monster. I was like, okay, so Aquaman's going to come back and kill that. But it actually was good marketing because that wasn't how it went. He yeah. was actually controlling him. And he came up, and he was definitely a really cool kaiju. He's probably bigger than Godzilla. I, know, I, I wish you could serious. find out what kind of category he is in the Pacific Rim Actually, universe. you know, if he's standing on his nose, he's probably like a category three. But, but I mean, three. Jake, he was, if he's standing on his nose. He's pretty big. I, I, I really like the scene where it stands up, and you're just like, holy crap. It's man. taking a lot of fire. Then, like, Every like millions of shots are all firing at him. It's literally doing nothing. He's just taking and them down. And, and then we get, uh, that's when Aquaman's able to. Because there's a scene when he when he when he takes a trident that he's he can talk to all the creatures in the ocean. Basically, even the trench dwellers, which are those things that you see on the boat, yeah, he gets, and uh, yeah. he even gets them. It's orcas. Which, and I mean, that's where I agree with Kenny. Yeah, yeah he, that's why he, he he able to like he he gets them to all like you see a couple. Well, you yeah, see most like, of them. They they, start, they flip the guys that are riding the sharks and eat them. And that's where I agree with Kenny on when those when the trench dwellers were coming to help take out to help fight for Aquaman. That stuff was moving so fast in that scene that I was I thought I saw that there was the, the trench dwellers, out. but then you could then you could see. Yeah, you uh, could but tell. they were moving so fast. I was I was trying to figure out like what was what like what was happening. But yeah. that's that's one of the really funny line where Ocean Master's like Sam is Moses or and the girl from one of the kingdoms is like he 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 can control the tw the, the trench dwellers and. Uh, he's like, that's impossible. Yeah, is he sitting on a hammer? How's that impossible the when guns? everything's going on? Like, that's not over the top. Like, that's that's totally <laughs> realistic in this in this world. What I wanted to say Dude. is those interesting those guys, the soldiers for Atlantis. You know, they had like the red suits, yeah. the white suits, the different. Suits. I definitely liked how like the different colors. Oh, and, yeah, the colors and, and the costumes. Fights, yeah, because it was like it was definitely like it was just so colorful. And then the fights between Aquaman and those things, just like the one with the queen. The mom and the, the queen. Yeah, queen Atlanta. Yeah, Queen Atlanta versus those guys in the beginning. Like those fights were definitely really good. Oh yeah. And, and with speaking the swords of, and like. Oh yeah, it was really cool, really good uh, hand to hand combat type scenes and really. Yeah. And I also liked how uh, they didn't kill off Ocean Master because I mean. You didn't they kill, kill off anyone. <laughs> no, they didn't. The only person they killed off was the Mermaid Man guy, the green yeah, guy. Yeah, true. Uh, the scene that really, really caught me off guard was uh, I even got like a small taste of a uh, or small little infusion. Of a Jurassic movie, yeah. Here. Like all of a sudden, pterodactyl. You see, like I, I, it kind of made. At first, I'm, I, I honestly thought when uh, they were stuck in that tor 
like tornado thing that was gonna like accidentally Team send her back into time, like yeah. a different time period or well, something. Well, that's what I thought because she was, a which would have been awesome like, if they did yeah. that. But they, it was kind of like she it, t- it brought center. into the center of the earth type deal. And you see, I saw like Celio Fi- or the Seal of Physis guys, the little like yeah. g- gal, that gal, I can't think of any names. Well, no, but that, that is green interesting things. though. That literally, that means the Justice League and Batman, like whenever they're fighting, underneath them is that. They just confirmed that because it's canon. There's, that there's dinosaurs. Like when, fi- when Superman's fighting in the building, beneath them is dinosaurs. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's Ocean Master versus Aquaman. After the madness of a fight ends, <laughs> it way or, too uh, ends. It just it, it kind of they rise up, and uh, it's a one on one fight. Everyone's watching, and uh, it's a really cool like really cool standoff scene. Uh, and Aquaman manages to do this move where he like spins his uh, trident, which you see earlier. Someone said. Uh, there's a stupid moment there where uh, the William Defoe character is like, I taught him that. He did teach him that. Yeah. He literally did that. He yeah, did that teach him that. was really reminiscent of Thor's hammer. That was, was actually. Yeah. I would love to see a, th- a fight between uh, Thor and Aquaman. Yeah, we need uh, to see that now. He <laughs> slices no, 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 no. the trident in <laughs> half. True. And before he kills, he's, he's, he's about to kill uh, Ocean Master. And then their mom shows up. Because they are brothers. They're yeah. half-brothers. So yeah. kind of like Thor Loki. Uh, Very similar. But... Uh, their mom comes up, and then he uh, he was like, he wanted to die in battle. He was, like, he was just like brought up like that. So for a second, when Queen Atlanta walks up and was giving him a hug, he looked really weird. I thought he was going like, to kill her because yeah. he, cause he said, you came with him. He's like, yes. And I, I thought he was going to like, grab his sword like, no, and like, stab him. But, uh, yeah. well, but then it ends with him being taken away in a prison, uh, which, and then he, and Aquaman even said, when you're ready, we can talk. Yeah. It seems like they're going to probably keep him as a villain, but he might be that kind of a Loki character where... <laughs> Loki's bad, but then he's good, then he's bad. Like, then I would, he's strangled. I would he's love not, to see Aquaman team up with uh, Ocean Master and fight together because, like, they are brothers, and they even had some moments together where they said, like, they kind of, like, w- they honestly would like to like know each other a little bit better. Yeah. The last thing I want to talk about is just the scene where Black Man shows up with his new cost with his new suit, and is just kind of kicking Aquaman's butt a little bit there for the most part. Yeah. And uh, there's a cool scene with Mara. She's able to use like wine to like take out yeah. those guys. There. I have one glass of wine. <laughs> There's one guy who sticks his head in the toilet that survives. Yeah, he's which, probably gonna die. He's when he literally that. still there. I, th- I thought that was an end credit scene. <laughs> he's he's still his head in the toilet. That was a great end credit scene. As soon as he comes out, there, he's, he's still dead. there. Someone comes in. Like, I need more. That's, oh, that's that, 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 that scene. Him. That scene between Black Manta and uh, Aquaman is really cool. There's people running through walls. Yeah. Uh, no, and that was the scene where. Like Aqu- he shoots Aqu- one shot. Like he shoots Aquaman with uh like the lasers he's burning, but then another scene where he hooks Aquaman with something, he pulls him in and then punches him and punches him in the ground. Like that was definitely the best fight scenes was between yeah. him and Black Man. Because he has the one punch where he punch him in, punches and, him in the ground and then he gets like the spike ball thing. And that's and that's really the only reason he, he wins the, the fight because he throws a ball and it kinda of gets him like caught off guard and he yeah. like uh Falls gets, down in the water. Yeah, and he gets nailed by it, keeps hitting himself on the rocks, yeah. then hits a rock and lands in the water. His, and it's made to where, obviously, you know, you survive. So yeah, and end. his henchmen die, which, I mean, yeah. he, I, that's my only that's my only question going into the next one, is who's going to be his... We know one sidekick is, but... Well, no, that's what I'm saying. He's so an then, army. So he goes in the water, and that's kind of why I think we had said this yeah, last. Yeah, so at least... Then he goes in the water, and then the rest of the movie happens, but then the mid credit scene... The mid credit scene, which is the only end credit scene, uh, before, the main, before the main just standard credits... It shows him like floating a uh, floating adrift on like a piece of like ship, yeah. and it's kind of like a his helmet's cracked some kind of ship. Yeah, his helmet's cracked. Where you saw you had the uh, fight between him and Aquaman, yeah. and uh, he gets taken ashore. And then all of a sudden you see the character. He's, we call him Wu. He's the guy from uh, the FBI Man. agent from Ant Man and the Wall. So you hear him on the TV talking. Is uh, someone someone's been treating him and he's laying in a bed. But something's hurt with his eye. He's getting the head. And, and all of a sudden, you hear you see him, him, Randall Park's character, stand up and he's work. He's looking at his costume and stuff. But you like, see, you hear a newscast. Yeah, you hear him saying, talking on the newscast. And someone's like, he's talking about the Atlantean. And he's like, you're gonna go over this again. And yeah, the government, down, the government's not gonna let us hear about the Atlantean people. And, yeah. uh, and then all of a sudden, he's he looks at uh, at Black Manta and he's like, is this Atlantean technology? Because no one believes him about Atlantis, because everyone thinks Atlantis is fake, which is I mean, that's yeah. what they would think. And uh, and basically he's like, he's like, I'll, I'll tell you, on one condition. And then he throws a then he throws a knife, and it almost kills the Red Fox character. Yeah, it almost. And it goes right into Alchemist's uh, outline in the on a newspaper, and he's like, fine, tell me where he hit he is. And uh, he also, I thought he was gonna die because his his like thing that almost killed himself, uh, Black Man, when he's when he's working on because remember he came as a gun. 
And he made it into the yeah, costume. Yeah, it's a really cool ending setting up that Black Man is obviously the villain going forward. And I wish, and I did not get enough of him in this movie. I wanted to see more and more of him. And I honestly wanted him to be the main villain. Just thanks, sh- thanks for watching this spoilers discussion of Aquaman. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next uh, video. Bye, guys.